Balancing equations. In a reaction, matter is conserved. That means we have to have the same number of atoms of an element on both sides of the equation. So the mass of all of the reactants has to be equal to the mass of all of the products. And this is the basis for us balancing equations. Here you can see we've got a carbon atom reacting with a molecule of oxygen, which has two atoms of oxygen, to make one molecule of carbon dioxide. We've got one atom of carbon on the left and one on the right. We've got two atoms of oxygen on the left and we've got two atoms of oxygen on the right. So we've got the same number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. So let's have a look at this equation. Magnesium plus oxygen makes magnesium oxide. So the first thing to do is to draw a line down the middle. On the left, we've got magnesium and we've got oxygen. On the right hand side, we should have the same elements. We've also got magnesium and oxygen. Let's count how many atoms we've got of each. On the left, we've got one atom of magnesium and two atoms of oxygen. On the right hand side, we've got one atom of magnesium and one atom of oxygen. So the magnesiums are balanced, but the oxygens aren't. So I'm going to put a big number two in front of the magnesium oxide. I'm not allowed to add any small numbers to this. If I added small numbers, that would change the formula. It would change what the substance is. So I can just put the big number two at the beginning, which means I've now got two lots of magnesium and two lots of oxygen. So I can now see my oxygens are balanced, but my magnesiums aren't. So if I go back to the left-hand side, I can add a two in front of magnesium. That now means I've got two magnesiums on the left-hand side. It doesn't affect the oxygens because the plus sign is there. So I've now got a balanced equation. In this reaction, sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts to make sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide and water. So we're going to do the same as last time, write down all of the elements that appear on the left hand side and all of the elements that appear on the right hand side. They should be the same again and I've written them in the same order. So we've got one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon and three oxygens. On the right hand side, two sodiums, two hydrogens, two carbons, remember it appears in two places, and oxygen appears three times and it makes a total of six. So, not balanced. I'm going to go and put a two in front of the sodium hydrogen carbonate and make all of the changes. So that means two sodiums, two hydrogens, two carbons, and two times three for the oxygen. And look, it's all balanced. In this equation, calcium carbonate is reacting with hydrochloric acid to make calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Pause the video at this point and have a go at balancing it using the same method. Once you're done, unpause the video and see if you got it right. So we've got calcium, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen and chlorine. Same on the other side as well. We've got one calcium one carbon, three oxygens, one hydrogen and one chlorine. On the other side, one calcium, one carbon, two lots of oxygen appearing there, so we've got to add them together, which is going to make three, two hydrogens and two chlorines. So everything except the hydrogen and chlorines are balanced. So two in front of the hydrogen chloride, make both changes because it changes the hydrogen and the chlorine, and you can see we've balanced the equation. Well done if you got it right. Here are some equations for you to try. Again, pause the video, have a go at them, and the answers will appear next. Well done if you got them all right. If not, the next bit of the video goes through each of the equations and shows you how to balance it. So equation one, we've got calcium and oxygen, same on the other side. One calcium, two oxygens, one calcium, one oxygen. Two in front of the calcium oxide, make both changes straight away. Oxygens are now balanced, a two in front of the calcium, and the equation is balanced. Here we've got um, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Same on the other side. One carbon, four hydrogens, two oxygens. One carbon, two hydrogens, and only one well, careful, oxygen appears in two places, three oxygens. So a two in front of the water is going to sort the hydrogens out and it changes the oxygen as well. So we've now got 
four oxygens. Back to the left hand side, we've put a two in front of the oxygens, then we've got four. So everything's now balanced. This one's a little tricky because we've got some brackets. Now, it means we've got one zinc, but everything in the brackets is going to be times by two. So that means we've got two nitrogens and we've got two lots of three for the oxygen, so six oxygens. Now we know that, we can have a go at balancing the equation. So same as before, we've got zinc, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and we've already put oxygen down. Same on the other side. Be careful if something appears twice, not to write it down twice. So one zinc, four oxygens, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, one zinc. Bit of maths required for the oxygens because it appears in two places. So we've got six on the left and then plus one, which makes seven, two hydrogens and two nitrogens. We're going to leave the oxygen till last this time. It's always best to do that if there's lots of things going on. So a two in front of the HNO3, nitric acid, and that's going to change oxygen to seven, hydrogen to two and nitrogen to two. And you can see suddenly it's all balanced. Here we've got potassium and oxygen. Same on the other side. One potassium, two oxygens, two potassiums, one oxygen. I'm not gonna start with the oxygen because I can see that the oxygen comes in pairs on the left. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the potassium oxide, make all the changes. The oxygens are balanced, so I just need to balance the potassium. A four in front of potassium will sort that out. This one's a little trickier. So you're going to have to bear with this one a little bit. So same strategy as before, write down the elements underneath and then count how many atoms we've got. We'll start by balancing the iron. So the irons are balanced, but the oxygens aren't. So the only thing we do is put a two in front of the carbon dioxide make all the changes, so it changes the oxygen and the carbon. Go back to the other side and put a two in front of the carbon monoxide, that balances the carbons, but it upsets the oxygens again. So we'll make all the changes. Then we go back to the right hand side. Let's try changing that two for a three. Okay, again, make all the changes. So that's now going to be six oxygens and three carbons. We'll go back to the left hand side and we're going to change the two in front of carbon monoxide to a three. Let's make all the changes and we can see that our equation is now balanced. Sometimes with trickier equations you do have to be patient and you have to go back and two a few times to make sure it's balanced. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos and you can also hit the notification button if you want to see when new things have been uploaded.